Kling AI has launched Start and In Frames with their O1 model. Welcome, my name's Rosh, the co-host of the Creative AI Show, where we are two creative guys talking AI. And on the left side, you will find O1 within Kling AI. And this is the Omni model, which is different than the Kling 2.6. So you may be asking, what is the big deal about start and in frames? Because Kling has always had them. They've had them for a long time. They have, in again, those traditional models such as 2.6. But now they have it in their Omni model. And their Omni model is designed to be able to do all types of imagery and video in one place. To go to frames, you see here we have elements, transformation, video reference, and frames. Click on frames and you see start and end. So why would you want a start and end frame? Well, you could tell a story between a couple scenes. You can have different things morph, like a person morphing into another creature or locations, maybe transitioning. There are a number of different creative ways to have a start and end frame, but the key is you have a starting point for the AI to work with, and the end frame lets the AI know where you want it to end. And so often it's up to the AI to figure out those between parts. However, you can offer guidance via the prompt, which is generally a good idea. So below the prompt area, we have video generation or image generation, the current video 01 model, which is the Omni model. And here we have a few choices. We now have the 720 as well as the 1080p duration from three to 10 seconds. And if you have a VIP subscription, you can have more than one output, actually up to four outputs. And here we have multiple aspect ratios. So click on start and here you can upload from your computer or go to your history. We're gonna upload. We'll start with this car and we'll end with this one. And as you can see, we have image one and image two. So we can be very specific about what we want from each. Okay, we can do 1280p. Let's see, let's do six seconds. We'll do auto one output so this is what we have image two which is the older style car transforms into image one which is the newer more modern style car race car and they're racing down the a modern highway let's say a modern a modern highway so in this situation we have two objects but this can be done with people as well as scenes which we'll get into in a moment Click generate. Here we go. Let's see how fast it looks like about two minutes. I'll let you know. Here we are and okay, here's our starting image. So is that a highway? Well, let's give it a shot. We have six seconds. Uh-huh, oh, oh, well done. And then it ends back with the final image. So. It did exactly what we want to do. We have, I mean, look, if we wanted it to be on a highway in the beginning and end, we should have added those elements to our image. But I think that is excellent. Let's try one with a person. Okay, so we have our two images, the close up of the guy. Well, let's actually just move this image to here. Here we go. Image two turns into an explosion of fire and smoke. Oh, turns into at image. Oh, so you get a drop down. There you go. Turns into image one in an explosion of fire and smoke. Let's see how that works. That could be interesting. And to make note, it does take about two minutes. It took about two minutes to create this one down here. And I'm expecting this will also take about two minutes to create. Okay, yes, yeah, so that was right about two, two minutes, almost on the dot. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, I was hoping for a little more fire and smoke, but that, that did it. So you can see that transition, that's, that's good. All right, let's try another one. 
So you may have noticed that I've uploaded these in reverse order, but if you keep doing that or you just want to reverse, you can just click here and this will reverse image one and image two. So what do we want to do? So to get the at image, we'd hit at and then click on image two turns image one turns into image two in a colorful superhero fashion. So this leaves a lot of room for the AI to experiment and create something, especially because we don't have a lot of detail. Now, this can be good and bad. It can stretch your idea in a way that maybe you had not thought of before, but it could also just totally be completely different than your taste or what you were hoping for. So if there are very specific elements in the process, you should put them in your prompt. All right, here we are. Let me move this over a little bit, just like that. And let's play. Oh, man. Cool, but it too much cropping. It worked. But too much cropping. So I'm not happy with this outcome. We'll, we'll do something else. But do remember, you can lip sync if you want or add AI sound. You can publish it. You can download it without the watermark if you have the VIP. Click here to delete or report if you end up with a final version that really is not right. Well, I would say something that may be sinister is, is the better way to report. And of course, if you want to favorite it, just click right here on the star. When you want to reset for a new prompt, just click right here. But it will take you back to image video element. So you'll have to click on frames again. Okay, image one, the cowboy in image one. A cowboy at image one travels through a western town and ends up at image two. This is one that I have tried before and let's see if uh, it works out here. All right, so this one is more like a story. Actually, I probably should have increased the time frame, but we have five seconds. Let's, let's see what happens. No, eh. Probably needed more more time. He just kind of moved over into the other spot. He doesn't go through a, a western town. Let's try it with a longer period of time. So 10 seconds should be about four minutes, which I would say their estimated waiting time is rather accurate. Okay, here it is. This is the longer version. Let's take a look. So it's starting off okay. Hmm, is that the town? I'm not sure. Good, good movement and good transition. The transition is a really good. That extra, extra five really added a nice transition to it. And actually, I mean, that's not a full on town, but hey, let's give it. I mean, because I don't give it a town to work with. And I, but I have seen where, it did, you know, the, the cowboy walked immediately into a town, then out of it in the other, in the in frame. So I have seen it work better, but this is not bad. Not bad at all. I think the transitions overall are really solid with Kling. Uh, ultimately, I, I didn't like the one with the redheaded female turning into the uh, I don't know, superhero hero ish. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but it cropped at the end in the end frame, which it's not supposed to do. The end frame is your end frame. Your starting frame is the starting frame, and that's the idea. But the the boxer not too bad i would have liked more fire and smoke but i could have recreated that and said a lot more fire and smoke so that's the idea is that you can continue to reprompt and when you don't get what you want in that prompt well guess what now you know what to add or at least what you get in your results you can add more to your prompt to make sure you get what you're looking for. And if there are things that you don't want, if you have the option of negative prompts, you can add them into negative prompts. For example, if you don't want snow in the background in this situation, there's snow. 
and probably because he's wearing a jacket and a hat and so forth. Obviously, cowboys wear cowboy hats, but you can see the snow in the background. If you didn't want that, you could have said something like that in a negative prompt or just in general in the prompt. Don't add snow or make it a spring day. There are so many things you can do and curtail this to exactly what you are looking for, ultimately creating your vision. If you want to hear more about AI for the creative, check into the Creative AI Show every Monday on this YouTube channel, as well as your favorite podcast location where we are. Two creative guys talking AI.